Welcome to A to Z Summary YouTube channel. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the book, The Art of War, by Sun Tzu. Before proceeding further I request you to please subscribe our channel and like the video, also comment your favorite books and novel so that I can provide summary for it, now let's start with the summary. The characters in the book are The themes of the book are The Art of War by Sun Tzu is a famous book about military strategy written more than 2,000 years ago in ancient China. Even though it's about warfare, its lessons can be applied to many areas of life, like business and politics. Sun Tzu talks about the importance of planning, knowing your enemy, and adapting to different situations. He emphasizes the idea of winning without fighting whenever possible, by outsmarting your opponent. One of the key concepts in the book is the idea of knowing yourself and your enemy. Sun Tzu says that if you know yourself and your enemy well, you'll have a better chance of winning. He also stresses the importance of flexibility and being able to change your tactics based on the circumstances. In this opening section, Sun Tzu emphasizes the importance of strategic planning before engaging in any conflict. He discusses the five factors that should be considered, the way, or moral influence, heaven, or weather and terrain, earth, or distances, the commander, and method and discipline. Sun Tzu advises that victory is won before the battle begins, through careful planning and understanding of these factors. He stresses the importance of flexibility and adaptability, urging commanders to assess the situation and adjust their plans accordingly. Sun Tzu delves into the various strategies and tactics employed during warfare. He discusses the importance of speed, deception, and surprise in gaining an advantage over the enemy. Sun Tzu emphasizes the need to exploit the enemy's weaknesses while protecting one's own strengths. He also highlights the importance of morale and unity among troops, as well as the use of spies and intelligence gathering to gather information about the enemy's movements and intentions. This section focuses on the different methods of attacking the enemy, both directly and indirectly. Sun Tzu discusses the importance of understanding the enemy's psychology and using deception to outmaneuver them. He advises commanders to avoid direct confrontation when possible and instead seek to undermine the enemy's position through subtler means. Sun Tzu also emphasizes the importance of maintaining the element of surprise and keeping the enemy off balance. Here, Sun Tzu discusses the importance of positioning and deployment on the battlefield. He emphasizes the need to adapt one's tactics to the specific circumstances of each situation and to take advantage of the terrain and weather conditions. Sun Tzu also stresses the importance of maintaining flexibility and mobility in order to respond quickly to changing circumstances. He advises commanders to avoid being predictable and to keep the enemy guessing about their intentions. Sun Tzu discusses the concept of energy in warfare, which he defines as the strategic advantage gained by effectively utilizing resources and positioning troops. He emphasizes the importance of conserving energy when possible and expending it at the right moment to achieve maximum impact. Sun Tzu also discusses the importance of timing and coordination in executing strategic maneuvers and attacks. In this section, Sun Tzu explores the concept of exploiting the enemy's weaknesses while protecting one's own strengths. He advises commanders to focus their efforts on areas where the enemy is vulnerable and to avoid direct confrontation with their strengths. Sun Tzu also emphasizes the importance of adaptability and creativity in finding innovative ways to overcome obstacles and defeat the enemy. Sun Tzu discusses the importance of maneuvering and outmaneuvering the enemy to gain a strategic advantage. He emphasizes the need to be unpredictable and to keep the enemy off balance through rapid and unexpected movements. Sun Tzu also stresses the importance of exploiting the enemy's mistakes and weaknesses while minimizing one's own vulnerabilities. In this section, Sun Tzu discusses the importance of varying tactics and strategies to keep the enemy guessing and to prevent them from anticipating your next move. He emphasizes the need for commanders to be flexible and adaptable willing to change their approach based on the specific circumstances of each situation. Sun Tzu also advises commanders to avoid becoming trapped in patterns of behavior that make them predictable to the enemy. 
Here, Sun Tzu discusses the principles of engaging the enemy in battle. He emphasizes the importance of morale, discipline, and unity among troops, as well as the need to maintain a strong sense of purpose and determination. Sun Tzu advises commanders to lead by example and to inspire their troops to perform at their best, even in the face of adversity. Sun Tzu concludes his treatise by emphasizing the importance of adaptability and flexibility in warfare. He advises commanders to constantly assess the situation and adjust their plans accordingly, remaining open to new ideas and strategies. Sun Tzu also stresses the importance of learning from both success and failure, using each experience to improve and refine one's approach to warfare. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content.